Hello everybody, this is my boyfriend Nick Freeze. He's a new media artist. What? He's saying hi. He's a new media artist. He makes work about, that means that he makes work about the internet, he makes work about digital uh, culture, digital cultures, people online, cultures. online, stuff like that. It's pretty cool, you should check it out. The other day, I was telling him about, I don't know how to describe it, I guess like follow me culture, like how fangirls will notice when somebody like Justin Bieber or Harry Styles is online and they'll generate a ton of tweets that are all like being sent like every second. They're like punching them out. They're just like, follow me, Justin Bieber. And there's like a ton of emojis and all this stuff. And I love the way that they look. I, I just think they're super interesting. Yeah, and it's really interesting how they try to evade the, the sort of Twitter spam detection by like ending each tweet with different numbers and using different emojis. And it's kind of like this tactic to get around getting blocked, but then it kind of has its own aesthetic that sort of comes out of that. And by using all these emojis and like formatting the tweets in a certain way, they're able to like stand out amongst all the other fangirls who are tweeting at the same time. And then sometimes even get followed back. Yeah, and then a lucky few get followed back. And, and then you kind of put that in your Twitter bio, like I have this follow and I have this date, this guy followed me. And I think it's just like a really interesting part about fangirl culture. And that part was really cryptic to me when, when the first time I saw two out of five in a Twitter bio and had no idea what it means and it's almost like a sort of secret language from, from for folks within those kinds of follow communities. And now you know if, if I said two out of five, what, what group is that from? One Direction? Yeah. And I thought that was all super cool, but there was one thing that bothered me, which is the fact that it looked like it took a lot of work and you had to do the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. And if there's one thing computers are good at is doing the same thing over and over and over again. So we had came up with an idea. Yeah, came up with an idea. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we wanted to help by creating a custom piece of code that you could copy and paste into your browser and send out a bunch of follow me back tweets to whoever you want on Twitter. It's revolutionary. It'll change the way you fangirl forever. Disclaimer. 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 So you guys already know about tweet limits, how if you tweet so much within a day, you could be suspended temporarily. That can happen pretty fast with this code, so use it with discretion. Also, if you use this code a lot, you could be seen as a spam bot. Twitter might detect that. And we worked hard to make it not seem like a spam bot, because it doesn't tweet super lightning fast. It does it kind of at varying times and kind of acts a little bit more like a person. So don't, don't send like a thousand tweets at once. Yeah, I'll, I'll send out like 50 tweets and then I'll wait five minutes and then I'll send 50 again and then I'll wait five minutes. So just be careful. And here's how it works. <laughs> Because mobile devices don't give users enough control over their stuff, this trick only works on desktop browsers where there's something called the developer console. So first log into your Twitter account, here's one we made for testing purposes, and because Anna's always wanted a One Direction fan account, and open the developer console. To open up the console on Chrome, go to the view menu, and then developer, and then JavaScript console. On Firefox, go to the tools menu, and then web developer, and then web console. We're gonna be using this console to type in JavaScript code into our browsers. JavaScript, if you don't already know, is the web's most prolific programming language. You could do almost anything you want to a web page using JavaScript. The next thing you're gonna do is copy and paste the code we have on our website into your console and hit the enter or return key. If that worked, you should see a message that says the follow code has been loaded with some instructions. Next, you can set the amount of tweets you wanna send out to your celeb of choice by typing in please follow, P-L-Z-F-O-L-L-O-W dot set amount, one word with a capital A, and then between parentheses, the amount of tweets that you wanna send out. By default, this is set to one, but you could set it to any number you want. Hit enter, and then you should get a message confirming that the amount was changed. Then to start sending off your tweets, type in please follow dot me, and then between the parentheses, the Twitter handle of the account you want to follow. Make sure that the Twitter handle is written between quotes inside the parentheses. If it worked, you should see the tweets getting sent off one by one. Now you can just walk away and let the computer do the work for you. So you might notice that the auto-generated tweets are all variations on different follow me tweets that we've seen folks do on Twitter. But if you want to add your own message to the automatic mix, you can do that by typing in please follow dot custom message with a capital M, and then between the parentheses in quotes, your own custom message. Then follow that up with please follow dot me at the user handle, and you should see the automatic tweets including your custom message. 
So thanks for watching. Uh, let us know if you guys have any issues with the code or anything at all in the YouTube comments below. And um, let me know if you get a follow from this. I'm still trying to get Justin Bieber to follow me with this. Um, I believe that it will happen. It'll happen very soon. I believe that it will happen. <laughs> so go to plzfollow.me to find the code. Get out there and get that follow.